Hey guys, it's JC. Hey, it's Travis. We're Amity Hart. How are y'all doing tonight? Anybody out there yet? We are going to click on our own Amity Hart Live. So that we can see. Amity Hart, how are y'all doing tonight? All right. Anybody out there yet? This is so weird. We are weird. going to okay. click on our own Amity Hart Live. So that we can see. Hey guys, it's JC Hart. Let it catch up just a minute. This is our first time ever doing this, so I might sound a little silly. I'm going to turn my phone down here. Alright. We have two people watching. And it's ourselves. That's lots of fun. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see who is out there. And I do not like this pose. We are in my daughter's bedroom right now. This is also considered our practice room. Um, let's see if there's anybody else. Oh, there's three of y'all in there. Who else is on here? Say hi to us so we know who we're talking to. We are in my daughter's bedroom right now. This is let's see, who is that? Third person. If you'll give me just a minute, we will actually start interacting with you guys here. So my daughter would kill me if she knew that we was in her bedroom using it as our practice room as well. We've got the sound system in here. Um, this is where JC and I do all of our practicing at for the actual music. Mm -hmm. um, so JC, start off. Tell them, tell them a little bit how we met and where we're going with this. All right. So it was probably almost about eight years ago now. Yep. Wouldn't you say? Yep. Um, my Aunt Crystal and Natalie, actually, we were living in Springfield. Hi, Cynthia. And I was living with them. And I said, hey, you should come to karaoke in Branson, Missouri. And I was like, okay. So we came to Branson. We did karaoke. I met Travis. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. At the time, I wanted to be with him because <laughs> he sang so good. But we realized we're just meant to be friends, so definitely uh, he would kill me and I'd probably kill him. So, um, but anyways, we started singing karaoke together, and then it was probably about two years after that that he said, "Hey, you need to come down here to Branson at Mel's mm -hmm. Hard Luck Diner. Um, we have a, a position open." And I was like, "Oh, I don't know if I should do that." I mean, I had served many, many years. And I had sang Hi, Bridget. for many years. Hey, Bridget. Um, Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. I don't know who you are. Melissa Hill, yeah. You know Do Melissa I know Hill. her? Yeah, Melissa's an awesome person. They Sorry, like you'll have yes. to forgive me because I'm not good at remembering. <laughs> anyway, so I auditioned at Mel's Hard Lick Diner, which is an awesome place to eat at and go for live entertainment, by the way. Make sure you go and check it out. Thanks, Cynthia, for what you just said. I just saw that. Love what you're doing with the music. That's what we want to hear. Hey, Melissa, again. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. Hey, Sammy. Anyway, so I got the job at Mel's, and then Travis and I's friendship kind of just took off from there. Hey, there's nine of y'all on here. Let us let me know who you are. Travis keeps interrupting me. This is why I'd kill him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we've been friends ever since then. Somewhat. Mm -hmm. No, honestly, JC is... Um, JC came in my life at a very, very difficult time in my life, and um, I needed a friend more than anything, and JC's been that friend, and um, I don't know I try to, to be. <laughs> we have our moments where we want to kill each other, but at the same time, I guess if you could say there's a musical romance, JC and I have that musical romance. I, that's For what, sure. Our voices blend very, very well together. And that's kind of what brought us to this point. We both work at the diner, and we're very thankful for the diner. I'm very, very thankful for the diner. And um, I'm thankful for all the people that God has brought into our lives. We both have wonderful spouses um, that are supporting our music, and we're very thankful for that. Yes, we are. And I hate the way I look on live video. I'm sorry I can see all this right now. All right, I see there's 10 of y'all on here. Who's on? Say hey. Hi, Bridget. 
Ron. Oh. Hey, Ron. There's Nanny Carolyn. There's Tiffany. Hey, girl. I miss you so much. You're so beautiful. But um, anyway. Thank you, Tiff. Uh, well, while well, JC's so watching the screen here, you can watch the screen for a little bit. Um, we have been very, very blessed in the past few weeks to hey, Kim. make some great connections. Love you too, Mama Kim. And um, just kind of excited where this is going. Um, we're in the process of actually getting a live band. So that is awesome. We're going to be holding auditions for that. So if you know of anybody... Send them our way. Yep, yeah, we're looking for a guitarist, a bass, a bass player, and a drum player. Um, that'll that'll help us out a lot. Um, we do have a few gigs booked. We cannot disclose those yet because they're not set in stone. We do have one set in stone for sure that'll be in September. We'll be announcing that one. But um, we've got several in the making. I we know of sixty different places that we're sending press kits to, so that's exciting. Um, we're working on a CD. Mm -hmm. We've got six songs recorded, six or seven? I think it's six. And one of those is acapella. So yep. That's pretty cool. We're going to be doing lots of acapella music as well. That's I, I, I was raised in, a, in the Pentecostal Holiness Church, and my family and I always did acapella music. So um, I've sang Southern Gospel all my life. JC sang country. So the two together, it's going to be what we call inspirational country, which is going to be lots of fun. And we do have a mission statement. Um, our mission is to reach those who are needing inspiration in their souls that might have actually been going through something in their lives to make them want to end it or just stressed or whatever. Um, we want our music to reach them in a way to where they actually feel good about themselves again. And I don't know how to put that in the right kind of words. What, what am I looking for there, Jace? You want to reach people that have had any type of we want to reach people that have any have had any type of hard times during their life and don't take this the wrong way when i say this but not just christian people right um anybody that's on drugs you know that's had a hard life anything and we want to be able to share our music with them and want them to hear our music and think right. wow right Definitely. you know that song got to us it makes us want to change our lives over to god um, because most Christians, you know, they already know who God is, which we're very grateful for that. Right, and we would definitely do churches, mm -hmm. uh, definitely do churches, but that doesn't mean we'll never sing in a bar or never sing in an outdoor gig to where it's not Christians, um, because Jesus didn't just go to church. Jesus went amongst the sinners to, to reach them, and um, like I said, this, this isn't all about singing christian music it's singing positive music to offer the world positive vibes inspirational you right know, right things and that will draw all kinds of different other people while in we're today. on that subject i know me and you had this argument but um oh. for all of you have who have been liking our reverb nation music please 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 keep liking that um today we actually went back up on the charts and nationally and globally and i know that doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people but that means a lot to us because mm -hmm. The more that you get up on the charts nationally and globally in Reverb Nation, you never know who's watching. You never know what producer might be out there that's saying, hey, I wonder what this group's all about. So every, every time you listen to a song or watch a video that's through Reverb Nation, that puts us higher on the charts, which is what we want. We want to be up there. Yes, we love being number one in Branson. That, and to be above Billy Dean, that's hey, pretty Mama. cool. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, is Shelly on there? Hey, Cody. Hi, Cody. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you, Kim. I love you so much. I miss seeing you. Um, I hate the way this shirt looks on me, but anyway, I'm very, very self-conscious. And like I said, I'm very fine. nervous. And I, I'm You're not fine. used to doing the whole life yeah, we're thing. We're both a little bit nervous. Um, anybody have any questions for us? Hey, Debbie. We're listening if you have questions. Um, we will be doing a lot of covers. Jason and I have been actually writing a lot of music to... Um, I went through a spot in my life to where I did not want to live, and um, our, our actually first two songs that we're trying to get done that are, are original music is a song that I wrote called You Are Somebody, which means um, it's a part in my life to where I felt like that I wasn't worth living for. I felt like that um, there was no reason to be alive. Nobody cared about me. Nobody loved me. There was no, I mean, I even felt that God had deserted me, and um, so... I wrote a song called You Are Somebody, and it's dealing with a person who is going through suicidal thoughts, 
So that is one of the first songs that we're going to be launching. And then JC's wrote a song called Skin Deep. Hi, Felicia. If hey, Tawny. To Hi, Tawny. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Debbie. Love you guys. Um, but yes, we're going to be putting some music out. Um, and thank you so much for who, everybody who's been contributing to the contest. Thank you um, so, so much. We want to get our likes up to 500 plus this weekend. Um, believe it or not, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those things, when you're working towards getting into the actual professional realm of music, um, sadly in this day and time, those things actually mean a lot. So the more likes you have, the more people that shares your stuff, um, that lets producers and people out there in the actual professional music world know that you do have a following. So we do appreciate that very, very, very much. Very, very much. much. That's very, very That's been much. very sweet of y'all to do that. Um, I know we're just starting out and this is just something new for us, but we both have been praying about this for a very long time. Um, my spouse has been going through a very, very, very hard time in their life. And um, I, I was actually, when I launched my music career last year, and um, that got a stop to put to that, and I didn't understand why. And I'm not saying that what my spouse went through is what brought to this to this point, but I do believe God was saying, hold on just a minute, I've got something better in store for you, and I'm very thankful that he put JC and I back together to be able to do music. Um, I don't know where this is going. I, I'm not gonna say we're gonna be the number one artist. I'm, I, I, yeah, that'd we be awesome. We don't know where we're going, we don't but know. we're gonna try. But we would appreciate it very much if you guys would just pray for us every day. Ask God to show us what we need to be doing. Um, doors are opening and we're very thankful for that. Um, we've got a dear, very, very dear friend and she's probably, we're probably going to get in trouble for calling her out. But um, actually two very dear friends. Uh, Joy Valentia and Murphy. I don't know if you're on here tonight watching. But if you're we not, shame you. on you. We love you. And you're working very, very hard for us and we're thankful for that. Um, and D. Elledge. Um, I've known Dee for many years now. Um, we love you too. And you are so dear to our hearts. Um, she works with the veterans here in Branson and um, also has connections outside of Branson. And I thank you for what you're doing for us. You have been so helpful. Very, very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, JC, you got anything you want to say right now? I'll watch this um, while you were talking because I've been talking forever. I know. I'm not good at the talking thing. Give me a mic. I'll sing. You're right, Debbie. God's timing is perfect. <laughs> um, kind of back to, I know that you start talking about the songs that we were writing. Um, one of the songs I'm writing is called Skin Deep. And my motive to that song is to dedicate it to every female that has ever looked at herself and either been ashamed of her body or been judged for the way she looks because... In this cruel world that we live in, women, and men too, but mostly women, um, they have to look a certain way, dress a certain way, be a size two to be considered pretty, and that's not true. It's not about what's on the outside. It's about um, what's on the inside. So my song, Skin Deep, is just kind of projecting that in, in a way to make others feel that it doesn't matter what. Definitely the outside looks like. Um, as most of you know, I have, um, I've been through a lot during my life as far as my physical appearance. Um, those of you that don't know, which most of you do, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there while I'm on it. Um, when I was born, I was born with a birthmark on my face, um, dark brown, and the doctors were afraid that it was going to be cancerous, so they wanted to remove it. So they did skin grafts. And so this is something that I've lived with my whole life. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, it's actually made me who I am today. Um, and I've always said, you know what? Because um, I've had several people ask me, well, have you ever considered getting it removed or getting it fixed or whatever term they use? And I did. When I was 18, I went to a dermatologist and I had them look at it. And I kind of got scared and I was like, oh, I don't want to do that because what if comes out looking worse than what it is already and I've lived with this for 18 years um, so the thing I always say is if somebody can't accept me for who I am 
and they're going to let that define their judgment on me, then they don't need to be a part of my life anyway. Exactly. So, um, but those of you that have, have, I know there's probably a lot of my friends that don't know that quite, or that don't know that. So, right. um, now you do. That's kind of what happened when I was a child. But it's definitely, it's made me who I am, and it makes me unique. Right. It really does. And now you're making me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> And your mama just said, uh, okay, I'm crying. So proud of you, JC. <laughs> Love mama. Hi, Dave. Hi, Tiffany. Um, I, I know I briefly touched on this, but uh, you know what? We're going to be true to ourselves to this whole thing. And that's what we're all about is being true and being real. And um, I was raised in a very, very, very strict home. And I'm very thankful for that. And um, most people that knows us and knows me knows that I have a partner who's, um, who has been very, very, very good to me and um, been the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And a lot of people are scared to talk about same-sex um, relationships and, and that has been very hard for me to overcome because I was taught all my life that my life was a sin and if I was true to myself then I was gonna die and go to hell and um, I'm just very thankful very very thankful and God has showed you during God, the has, time. God has definitely showed himself to me so much here lately I'm not going to talk a lot about it because it's a very emotional part of my life but uh, my partner has been through a very, 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 and I'm not going to bring his name on here, but he is on the other side of the camera right now, videoing us. Thank you. <laughs> um, he is on the other side right now, and it's very hard for me to talk about this, but I've been going through a very, very hard time for the past six months. But during those six months, God has showed me that he loves us. It doesn't matter whether you're black, white, green, purple, gay, straight, bi, whatever you are. Whatever you are, God loves you. And through this music that we're trying to project, we are trying our hardest to project in this in this cruel, evil world that we live in now, that somebody does love you and there is a higher power that loves you. And um, you know, it doesn't matter, no matter what you're going through, God loves you. And Amity Hart loves you too. And just while yes, we're on so. that right now, um, some people have asked, Hi, what Dave. Is... Hey, Dave Mill. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate that. Hi, Lynn. Lynn um, is one of my partner's, manager, or partner's uh, nurses that dealt with what he was going through. It's so awesome to see her on here. Um, well, I did not expect any of this to go that way. Uh, yeah. I just kind of talk. Talk about an honest, so, honest moment tonight. Yeah. We're having honest moments. We had no idea but, what um, we were even going to say. <laughs> I just, I want everybody to know who Amity Hart is and what we're all about. Um, we are about being true and true to yourself. You don't have to live in a way of trying to impress somebody. Just be you. Be you. It doesn't matter who you are. Be you. But um, going back, I know I'm all over the place and I'm an emotional basket case right now. But uh, <laughs> oh, it's okay. Sorry. Oh, turn off the tears, Travis. Turn off the tears. Um, people, have, just so you know, there will be trivia coming up near on mm -hmm. the near future and on our Amity Heart page, which will allow you to get free stuff from us. Um, <clears throat> we are building our product line and. For our gigs, you will we're gonna we're working on stuff, so you will be getting free stuff in the near future from trivia questions. So make be sure listening. You, uh, make sure you're listening. Pay attention. Um, Amity Hart, the name. How did that come about? Last year, JC and I were actually practicing some stuff, and we had talked about doing this, and it kind of was like, yeah, whatever, we're not gonna do it. And yeah, we are. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. So we were back and forth on it a lot. But we're like, so what if, what if we did this? What would we call ourselves? And so we wanted to be unique. And so I began to look at names. I'm like, we've been best friends for almost eight years. Almost eight years now. So I began to look up words about friendship, and I found the word amity. And so I sent to JC. I'm like, okay, so here's the word amity. Amity means friendship. 
And she's like, well, Amity Heart. I was like, yeah. That works great. So Amity Heart means friendship heart. That's what that means. Basically um, love. Love. Yeah. And love, that's what love, our whole no message what. is. That's what love. our whole message is about is love. It's all about love. Love who you love. Love no matter what. Right. Be you. Right. Exactly. Um, but that is where our name come from. And uh, that is basically what our message is all about is love. Loving everybody. Loving who you are. Loving just just love just love everybody um where was i going oh sorry that i've been hoarse um if any of y'all been watching through facebook i posted a day about asking for prayer uh, for nine weeks i've been going through this i'm very very hoarse i'm dealing with allergies and sinuses and i know it's a trick of the devil just to kind of see how bad you want it right to see if i can overcome this but i did go to the doctor today i did find out i have Thank a sinus infection goodness. Um, so they started that me on medicine. He went to the doctor. <laughs> right. Thank you so much to the doctor. Um, but I have a sinus infection, and um, so I'm taking medicine for that. Thanks, Hopefully. Sammy. Thanks, Sammy. It's awesome. Thank you, Lynn. We love you, too. You are such a sweet, sweet person. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm dealing with that. So, do you remember the first song we ever sang together? Uh Mm, why are you gonna put me on the spot like that? Do I? Probably not. We recorded both of them. We actually recorded our first. Was it two from this moment? Was the first one? Actually, no. The first song we ever did was "Need You Now." Oh, was it? Oh, maybe. Because you and I became friends, and then you was like, "Oh, I can sing that song. I've sang that song before." So you sang that song, and then I believe it was your mom that encouraged us to do. I don't remember for sure, but I think your mom encouraged us to do "From This Moment." So, Need You Now and From This Moment, that might be a trivia question one of these days, mm -hmm. were the two um, songs that we learned first. Um, okay, there's 14 of you on here right now. There was 16. What happened? Where are the rest of you? Oh, there was 19 for a minute. Just kidding. Um, no, actually, <laughs> anybody got any suggestions, any questions for us? We're watching. We're down to 12. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, JC, talk. I'm going to ask if anybody has any questions. I don't know what to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Yeah. Well, um, we are going to be recording a new song. Yes. That um, we've been working on. I'm just going to warn you right now. <laughs> this is definitely a practice round if we do this one. Practice week. round. Um, but just kind of tell us what you think. Um, if you have any recommendations on songs you think that would go good with our voices. Felicia our asks, songs, what is your favorite try? song to sing together? Um, I would... Uh, I have a personal favorite, but I'll see if it's the same as one as yours. What is your favorite? Let me think. Let me think for a minute. My favorite song to sing with Travis. Hmm... My, f I think it's pro. Well, it's probably like together is probably the national anthem. I know that sounds silly, um, yeah. but it's because that is actually one of the ones we recorded. Right, that is a cappella, um, so you can hear solely just our voices. And yeah, that's. I think that's what I like about it is there's no music in the background taken away. Like it's just our voices. So that's probably one of my favorites. And I love the today I started loving you. Yeah. It's another one of my okay, favorites. Okay, so we're opposite tonight. That's all right. Um, I'm going to say my favorite, and I don't know why, but the first time I ever heard this song um, by Lady A. Oh my goodness. I was going to, you know yeah, what? That's I can't my favorite. I didn't say that. Heart of the World. Heart of the World is I, my absolutely favorite song. Um, such a beautiful song. And it's put it out is. by Lady Annabellum. It is. That and actually is one of my favorites. I take it back. I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> I love that song. Such a beautiful song. Um, Lynn asks, where are we singing at next? We'd love to get the Neuro Group to come listen. Um, we actually have a gig mark right now booked in Carthage. Um, in September the 16th is the closest thing right now. Um... But, of course, you can always come see us at Mel's Hard Luck Diner. I mean, I know it's not an actual concert. Right, but... Um, but we do you know, sing together, and we we've been working there. on that a lot. That's kind of where we got mostly started at. 
was there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the, that's our that's where we're at right now is Mel's, and then we have the good, big blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the gig booked in um, Carthage, <laughs> which is going to be soon. That'll be in September. Um, still. Probably not doing cow days. We're going to do cow days oh, and in Dixon. I'm so but, sad about it, but but we might. We really want. I really wanted us to do that because we will have to see on that. We're going to try to see if we can work something out. We may wind up be able to do something during the day and just travel Maybe. to Carthage that night. But if not, for sure next year. Um, speaking of, when you asked, uh, Crystal. Hey, Aunt Crystal. Hi, Crystal. We love you. Love you. Um, anybody that has. Any place, I'm sorry, I've been like grabbing myself a lot because I'm... I always twist my hair, just so y'all know. <laughs> I have a, I have a nervous habit when I'm on the spot. Um, anybody that knows any place that might be looking for entertainment, JC and I are definitely, but definitely interested. Um, our rates differ for different places, um, depending on whether it's a church or whether it's a benefit. So if you hear of anything, do not hesitate to email us or send us a Facebook message. Um, we gladly answer those. There is four people on our page that's actually watching it nonstop. So it's not just JC and I on here. There's actually, when you see all these posts going, it's not just me and it's not just JC posting everything. It's four of us working this page hard. Um, Which we really appreciate. Yes, yes, very much. The and other two. I'm going to say if you are watching right now, some of you... I know a lot of you have already liked the page, but some of you are just following. So please, please, please make sure you have liked the page. And if you don't mind, actually go on and to invite your friends to like our page too, because we really want to get across the United States. Um, I talked to one of my uncles in New York, and he's trying to get us some contacts there in New York. So we are not Which opposed. Which is cool, because I've never been to New York. Me either. Small He's been town, begging me to come see him forever. So... Um, but yes, um, we are looking for, for places to sing and play and spread, the, spread our music all over the United States. So please, please, please keep sharing our music, sharing our page, sharing posts. Um, I try to do the inspirational quotes every day. Sometimes they're corny, sometimes they're good. Um, but it's never, good. it's never aimed at anyone. Um, anybody that knows me, I have had a... Very, I've, I've been raised around negativity a lot, um, and so sometimes my thoughts get negative. So in order to keep myself positive, I write it down. And so, if if you ever feel like sharing one of my quotes, go go for it. I, I will be your groupies. Oh, thanks, Bridget. Groupies. Teddy May, they are alive now. Okay, thanks, Crystal. Hit me. Hit up me up when you have. When, okay, we will be. We will be calling you, Crystal. Yes, ma'am. We love you very much. <laughs> um, JC, do you want to you want to just give them a little taste of what we're working, working on? on? Our newest song we've been working on tonight. Sure. Um, please forgive. In the meantime, go ahead. Um, I'm going to step out of the camera for just a minute. I've got to cue up the music. This may be a little loud. Sorry. We like our stuff loud. Um, we will be cheating with the words a little bit. No, we will be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I I'm not um, totally. Comfortable. Comfortable. Thank you. I feel like all this snot is just going down my yeah. throat nonstop. But uh, um, I don't, who all knows who Joey and Rory are? Have you ever heard of Joey and Rory? Do Joey, you know their story? Joey and Rory. One Fink? of the most heart touching. Beautiful. Sad. I sob like a baby every time. But um, we have been listening to a lot of their music, and they have new that not a new song because obviously newer. Sweet Joey passed away. Joey passed away. <clears throat> last year so it's not new but um Felicia does yay yes love them we are going we're working on a song um called that's important to me I'm going to cue that up JC if you want to watch the screen while I go do that I'll be back in a minute okay. hey grab the words <laughs> uh, hi Ann mama Ann I got about 20 mamas I know their baby girl is what gets me. I mean, the whole situation is sad, but. Whoops. Are you ready? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm having to cheat. That's not very professional, but I mean, 
This is only like our second time singing this. show, Travis. Um, <laughs> Let it all hang out. <laughs> that last line of those, the last line of those songs, I don't sound like there's one of my favorites. Um, Believing our dreams will take us somewhere, still being ourselves if we ever get there. Now, I just want to... we mentioned that. We've said again. that several times, but if we ever do make it to the top, guys, it'll be because of you. Yes, it'll definitely. Be definitely be because of you, your support, and I swear that we will never forget those who have been behind us and stood beside us the whole way. Um, because I want to always be myself. I've always said this. If I can't feel my music, if I can't love what I do, even though it might make my living, if I can't love what I do, then I'm done. I'm done with my music. I mean, I've, I've always said That's that. That's the most important thing. I just want to be ourselves, always. and. I mean, we've been pretty raw and pretty live and pretty just not pretty tonight. I mean, <laughs> just yeah. kind of being ourselves. But um, I I do want to try to make this a weekly thing. Is everybody on board with this making a weekly thing of just kind of just sitting down and I know just we can't talking. all sit in the same room, but we kind of are. You know, we're right. kind of in my daughter's bedroom and her bright blue walls that she wanted in her beautiful room, <laughs> by the way. Pink and green sheets and black. And she's yeah, but um, 
Uh, and Snugs Bassett says, are you going to be at Mel's this Friday? No, I am actually off Friday, but I will be there Saturday and Sunday. I will not be back until Sunday. I work a double on Sunday, I believe. I believe. So we'll both be there Sunday together if you want to hear us together. I actually have three beautiful kids. So uh, my partner and I are going on Saturday to pick up our kids. So they will be with us um, in the next four weeks which we're excited about. So, um, and those yeah. of you that know, I have one. Um, yep. Not biologically mine, but I treat him like he's my own. And I love them both very much, him and his daddy both. Bridget, thank you. She said amazing. Um, Ann says woohoo, great job. Greta Tim says yay. Felicia says love. Lynn says awesome. Um, beautiful. Debbie says beautiful. You two should try out for The Voice. Uh, right now, I have no voice to try out for the voice, but thank you. Um, <laughs> how about a road trip? Who says this? How about a road trip to Vegas? That is definitely in uh, in our plans. Definitely. Um, Are you going to bring us there? <laughs> find us a place to sing or yes, several definitely. places to sing. We would definitely, definitely be interested in that. Um, we've got a very, very dear friend in California um, that is wanting to meet up with us in Vegas as it is. So that would be awesome. Um, again, we're about to wrap this up because it's getting late and I've got ribs to grill still yet. So I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. But um, yes. Seth's um, hungry too. <laughs> anybody, anybody, please, if you have any contacts, um, anything that you that you think that we should know about, or like I said, churches, fairs, festivals, even private gigs. If I don't care if it's five people. Mom is commenting on your heart. Hi, Mom. Do you realize... Hey, Mom, do you know that you're commenting from your main heart, not Shelly? <laughs> I love you, silly Obviously, boy. she's one of the administrators on the page, but that's all right. We love you, Mom. Um, but yes, um, what was I going with that? Oh, any gigs. Uh, even if it's a five-person five private gig, obviously, call us, text us um, if you need press packets, to anything yes um, please please get in touch because this is our dream this is our life this is what we want more than anything um, we are very thankful for the life that we have here in Branson and all the contacts that it's given us through Mel's Hard Luck Diner um, and we're to anybody that's on here watching from Mel's Hard Luck Diner we are not leaving just so you, just know, so you know not yet um, if one day we get famous, we might, but we will never. It's not our to. intentions at right. the moment. We are not. We're not going anywhere. No Nashville right now. Not moving there anytime. Besides the trips, I mean, obviously. But, but we'll be making trips to Nashville. Uh, hopefully, frequently. We've mm -hmm. got some good contacts there, and I know our friend Lily Roman is there, and I, she's not on tonight, but that's all right. Um, we love her. I love Lulu. Shout out to Lulu. Shout and out Cam, to Lulu. And our friends Rowdy and Donnie. And Daryl. And Daryl. Um, who else to make contacts with? There's lots of them we make contacts Rick with. And Sam. Rick and Sam. So, yeah, um, we love all you guys and thank you for all that you're doing for us. Um, Lynn says she'll check some places for us. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. And Greta says stay at Aunt Methel's. Aunt Methel, we love Aunt Methel. She's awesome. Yes. Um, but yes, um, anything that you guys want to send our way, any suggestions, song suggestions, um, instrument people that plays instruments, music, um, we're interested in it. So, Most um, definitely. We are going to wrap this up. We've been on here for a while. My voice is getting tired. i got to go take some more medicine here in a little bit. But uh, we hope you all stay cool. In this hot weather. Oh, my gosh. Enjoy this wonderful summer <laughs> season and all the pollen and the mold that's in the air right now. I'm just <laughs> certainly loving it. Um, but, uh, yes, we love you guys very, 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 very much. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Thank you um, so, so much. We're going to try to make this, even if it's not as long as it is tonight, try to make this a weekly thing to where we can have you tune in. Um, be watching for trivia. Amity Heart came about almost a year ago now as a thought. So that's another thought. trivia question. Um, and just keep And also tuned. make sure you share this video of our live news feed yes please um, because just because people haven't oh yeah tell them about the contest Stacey I forgot about that tuned in the one we're doing now the one we're on right now that we're going to be doing the drawing Sunday night which will be announced on Monday right. who the which winner is we're going to have three winners yeah um, and eat, like I've said before on my personal Facebook page each time you share something your name gets put in the drawing 
So if you share something 10 times... And believe me, you're your keeping us busy because you're times. sharing a lot and we're yes. very, very thankful. I think I've already got a full page left and right side full of people right. um, that we've entered into our drawings. So share, 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 share. Please keep sharing. Yep. Yes. And it even counts if you share our live news feed. Anything you share. Anything you share. But please keep sharing our page. Yes, um, definitely. And the Reverb Nation. Make sure you share that. Right. Which hopefully we will be getting um, something new recorded soon. We're going to try to shoot, shoot for that in what, the next week, week, week and, and a half. half. Week and a half, two weeks. Yeah. Um, so that we can put that on Reverb Nation so you guys have something new to listen to. Right. But until then, make sure you're sharing everything else that you can. We appreciate all your love and support. We're so thankful for all of y'all. I butted in. We I didn't we didn't tell them the whole set, the whole contest. So I'll tell them unless you. I'm sorry, I put in a lot. There's a lot going through my head right now. Um, but <laughs> we'll finish that up. Um, JC mentioned anything that you share, whether it's the video this we're doing right now, or whether it's our page, or whether it's Reverb Nation, whether it's one of the quotes, anything from now till Sunday, Sunday. at midnight. Midnight it ends. Um, we are writing down names. We're able to look into the computer and know exactly who shared what. So we are keeping track that way. Um, anything you share will actually um, hey put your name into... Kim Taylor Drury. Hey, hey Kim, girl. I haven't saw you in forever. I wish I could see you. I love Kim. Um, she's still in Harrison. Um, but uh, yeah, anything that you do, that you share, your name will put into the drawing. And the winner wins JC's Woman Enough album, which is all country... Classics. Right. And Travis and My I Destiny have recorded a song on there together too. So right. Which we've already put on you get it double. Right, but you get it you get it three times. Right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you will also win My Destiny album, which is um, a collection of love songs. Uh, mostly country. There's a I don't know if you call it pop, there's a few songs on there. It's not soul. Soul music. So um it's a double disc album. You will also win um, all the songs that we've got recorded now, they are on a disc. We call, it, we call it a demo album. So you'll win the pre-demo album, which will have a actual cover and everything with it. You will also win um, a autographed picture of us, which we uh, will both sign. <laughs> and what else did we say? Autographed picture, two CDs. Oh! There's supposed to be a surprise. And there's a surprise item. So there's three winners, and we will draw that name at midnight on Sunday night and we will post that on Monday morning around 10 o'clock so you'll know who win and then there'll be another contest next week we love giving away stuff we want to keep connected with you guys that's that's what we are all about so exactly there's 19 of you anybody else have any questions we're about to wrap it up here in the next five minutes anybody else got any questions at all we see 19 of you on here right now so um, let us thank you both so much Dave says uh, anybody else anything you want to say JC no. Anybody got any song Thank suggestions? I will call them out real quick. If you, if you got anything you want to say. Well, well. All right. Well, if you guys do have any song suggestions or, you know, just want to talk to us, hit us up, tell us about a gig, anything, you can contact us through Amity Heart email. Anyway, don't donate a million dollars to. Mm, yeah, you know, that'd be nice. Go too. ahead and get our first radio <laughs> single out. No, um, we actually oh, there's 20 of you on there now. Um, we actually will be releasing a radio single by the end of the year. That is a promise. That will be a promise. We'll be re releasing, uh, re releasing a single. So um, hopefully we'll be in Texas and Iowa in the very near future. Um, where else will we be looking at? Oklahoma maybe in the near future. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So there's there's stuff coming. And please, 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 please keep sharing the music. Um, it's pretty cool to watch the Reverb Nation. Hey, Reba. Hi, Reba Noel. Hi, Joy. We love you, Joy. We've already talked about you. Now you've already got recognized on here. Um, but yes, we are working very hard. And uh, I want to touch on something real quick. What is really cool about Reverb Nation is JC gets on me, but I watch it nonstop. Um, there is a map on there where we can see each state the music is being played in. We are now in, I believe, 12 states. We want to be in all 50 by the end of the week. So please, 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 please keep sharing the music. Keep our rankings up. Keep us up. Um, anybody have song suggestions for us to write? Write anything like subjects. Because we love to write. 
that unless you want us to, you know, talk about killing your boyfriend or your husband or whatever, we don't we don't write about or that. Gr- or girlfriend, we don't do right. that either. So. All right, Tech Arcana. We shout are, out, love you, Jays, love you, Shell Bell. Shelby Castle, shout out to you. Um, that's my girl, Beverly. That's her, that's her nickname. Kim says to come to Texas, Arcana. We will hopefully be in Texas this year. So, um, or not maybe this year, but the first of 2018. That's the that is the goal. So, um, but again, thank you guys. We have went on and on and on and on. I feel like we yeah, talked we forever. I, we were so scared to even get on this thing. Now we can't shut up. So. <laughs> but um, we you. love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Everything that you're doing for us. Seth has given us the look of the phone's about to die. So. Um, anyways, we'll see you next time and adios. We love you. God bless y'all. Keep us in your prayers. Good night. Good night.